reminder from last year, you guys played a close game against Baylor and ended up beating you by two. Does that weigh in y'all's mind at all? Uh, not really. Um, Baylor's the next game on the schedule. So, uh, I mean, it's in the back of your mind, but uh, we're just trying to get to the next game to uh, get a win. What was the team reaction? I mean, you guys hadn't lost a home game in a long time and lose, it, uh, and lose a uh, conference game, something you guys have been repeating the success that you made. Uh, um, you could tell everybody was down. Uh, this program, uh, over the years, are not accustomed to losing. So, uh, I mean, it, it hurts a lot. But uh, like Coach said, season's not over. Uh, we've got, got to move on to the next game. So many of those games in the last couple of years, Casey time. was the guy who kept everything together. Trayvon is not at that point. What do you all do to rally around? Uh, just uh, give him confidence, uh, you know, uh, catch every ball he, get, he throws to us, no matter what kind of ball it is. Um, uh, help him on the perimeter blocking. So, I mean, just little things that help him out a lot. Do you feel let down that you didn't have Casey out there? Uh, you, you do, but, I mean, things happen in life, so uh, you got to keep moving on. Have you, have you talked to Trevon about what, hey, here's – you know, here's how his role changes. Have you talked to him at all about that? No, I just told him uh, we're we're all behind him 100. percent So uh, you know, whatever he does, uh, we're right behind. Him. Does the game plan change at all? Nope. Uh, might open up a little more because Trayvon can run uh, a lot a little better than Casey can. What did you think of his first game against Iowa? Uh, I mean, I say it was good. It wasn't great because uh, we didn't get we didn't win. So I mean, but uh, he, he did. He had a pretty good day. Uh, we got some mistakes we could eliminate. I mean, in practice, so uh, we'll be okay. So, I know you're running in and out a lot, so you're not in the huddle a lot, but how was he in command of the game? Oh, he was pretty good. Um, he told everybody uh, the plays, so, I mean, t uh, he took control of the huddle. Is the offense feeling any score? pressure this week to uh, keep pace scoring with Baylor? No, not at all. No, I think we should just go out there and play our game. Don't really, I mean, defense will handle it there, so uh, we just go out there and play our game. What's going on with those red zone turnovers? Uh, just um, just a, a, a loss of focus, uh, i say. I mean, we could fix that. We do ball security every day in practice. So, I mean, just we got to stay focused when we get in the red zone. Because you guys said that after week two, and then it's here, here it is, it's still happening. Yeah, I mean, still, you, you got to stay focused. I, I know, I mean, we keep fumbling in the red zone and things like that. But uh, we'll, we'll get it fixed. What do you do as a leader of this team to help the younger guys like BJ and, and Trayvon and, and help them get through uh, just, week to week? Just um, set example on and off the field um, and then talk to them, you know, uh, just uh, encourage them, uh, no matter what they do in uh, turnovers or you know, even when they do good, just keep encouraging them. Over the years, this team has played pretty good in hostile environments. Going on the road to Waco again, back-to-back -back years. I mean, uh, how will this young team react? I think, we, I think, I think we'll be okay. Uh, we play good on the road. I think we like playing on the road. It's less distractions, just um, just us and whoever comes to watch us. So I mean, I think we'll be okay. Andy was the leader when he was here. Casey was that leader. Who is your leader now? Um, I think uh, O line and then me myself as a as an older receiver. I think um, we have to be the leaders of the offense. Uh, bring on everybody else as young. I mean, in this conference, you don't. There's no soft spots. You're not going to get a lot of time to regroup after something like this. Um, just address that, please. Uh, I mean, Big Twelve, everybody's good. So I mean, uh, we got a seven game stretch of great teams we're going to play. I think. Uh, as a football player, you got to be excited, you know, to play the, these big teams. So, I mean, I'm excited to keep going. Worried about making a bowl game? Nope. Just got to win two games. So, I mean, we'll be okay.